Everybody, this is Parker from DustPropChampions.com. Thank you for joining me. This is another GD Math Practice Problem of the Day, and this one's a little bit tougher than the other ones I've shown you so far. So go ahead, pause the video, try it out on your own first. The question is, without using the calculator, determine which number below is equal to the fraction 7 fourths. So I'll let you get a chance to try that. Okay, hopefully you paused the video and you tried it, but if not, that's fine too. We'll go over it now. And so I said this is a harder fraction, be, fractions example, because it puts together multiple different concepts that you have to understand about fractions. So if you got this right, which we're going to go over the solution right now, but if you got, end up getting it right, then I'd say you're probably in great shape as far as fractions go for the GED test. Okay, so first thing that, the first thing we have to understand is that we are working with an improper fraction. 7 fourths is an example of an improper fraction. Okay, so this is an improper fraction. So I'm not going to write that whole thing out. I'm just going to put imp fraction. All right, let's just keep it simpler. Let's just call it an imp frac. And whenever you see that the number on top is bigger than the number on the bottom of the fraction, it's an improper fraction. The number on top of a fraction is called the numerator, and the number on the bottom is the denominator. So in this case, 7 is our numerator, and 4 is the denominator. 7 over 4, numerator is bigger than the denominator, so it's an improper fraction. And whenever you've got an improper fraction, you can always convert it to a mixed number. So the way a mixed number, it's going to look, it's going to have like a whole number out front, so let me just call that 1, and then it's going to have some number over some other number. Okay, and so the thing is that a mixed number is going to be the same, it's going to have the same denominator, and the improper fraction are going to have the same denominator. So what we can do is we can convert this 7 fourths into a mixed number. So since it's going to have the same denominator, we can start off our mixed number with a 4 in the denominator. So this is our mixed number here, and so what we want to think about is what number can 4 be multiplied by that's going to give us something close to 7, but it has to be less than 7. So let's try 4 times 1. So 4 times 1 just gives us 4. Okay, but let's try 2. So if we do 4 times 2, it's going to give us 8. So that's not going to work because the number, it has to be some number that we multiply 4 by that gives us a number that is close to 7 but is less than 7. So 2 won't work, so we're going to do 1. So 4 times 1 is 4, and then what we do is we would think, well, 4 plus what gives me 7? In other words, 7 minus 4 is 3. So we've got 1 and 3 fourths. So see how I did that? What All I did was I thought, what can I multiply 4 by that's going to give me something that's close to 7 but not quite 7? And then once I got, once I figured out that I was going to use 1, then I just did 7 minus 4, and that gives me 3, so then 3 goes in the numerator. And we can go backwards to check it. What I would do is, in any time you want to convert a mixed number into an improper fraction, you do, you pick the denominator and you multiply it by the whole number. So we would do 4 times 1, and then you just add the numerator, which is 3. Okay, and so then... All you do is you keep the denominator to the same. So the denominator will be the same. And then to get the numerator, you do 4 times 1, which is 4. And then plus 3 is 7, so we're back to 7 fourths. So that's how you can check if you did the if you converted the improper fraction to a mixed number the right way. So we now have 1 3 fourths. Okay, so we can cross off 0.75, cross off 250. And so hopefully you know, because I did a video on this earlier in the series that I'll have to link to down below, where 3 out of 4 is equal to 0.75. So if you have a calculator handy, and this isn't the same calculator you'll be able to use on the test, but if you've got a calculator, you can always do 3 divided by 4, put that in your calculator, and that's going to give you 0.75. If not, you just want to memorize that. You want to remember that, memorize that 1 over 4 is 0.25, 2 over 4 is 0.5, 3 over 4 is 0.75, and 4 over 4 is 1. And you can, the way to think about that is quarters. So just remember that whenever you see this 4 down here in the denominator, think about quarters, right? So if you've got 1 quarter, you've got 25 cents. If you've got 2 quarters, you've got 50 cents. Okay, if you've got 3 quarters, you've got 75 cents, and if you've got 4 quarters, you've got a dollar. So hopefully that makes sense. But the answer is going to be B, 1.75. So all you had to do here was convert this improper fraction into a proper fraction, or not a proper fraction, excuse me, into a mixed number, 
And then you had to recognize that 3 fourths was equal to 0.75, and you could do that either using your calculator or just by memorization. All right, so hopefully this video helped you out. Again, if you got this right, then I'd say you're probably in pretty good shape for fractions on the GED. Um, but if not, I have a whole other video about simplifying fractions, or not sim just simplifying fractions, how to make fractions simpler, generally speaking. I go over all of this stuff, improper fractions, regular fractions, whole numbers, mixed numbers, all you name it, all that kind of stuff. So that's the end of the video for today, and we'll get into another one tomorrow. This practice problem comes right out of my uh, GD Math Practice Problem book. You can get that down below. It's a 50 free problem sample. It's got this and a lot of other questions in it. So check that out if you want. Please subscribe. Give this a thumbs up if you liked it. That way it'll let me know if this is helpful for you so I can keep making more content. Good luck on your test, guys.